Let's go now to the Middle East where Israel's blockade on the Gaza Strip has gone now for 17 straight days. It's now forcing local suppliers to ration bread. Meantime, Gaza militants continue launching their homemade rockets at southern Israeli towns and communities. This story from Loy Liu. Food is still locked out, increasing daily hardships. Gaza residents stand in line to buy bread at one of the few bakeries still open, one loaf each. I do not know how long we are going to be in this situation. What is the solution? I do not know. This is all due to the siege and us. We should sit together, the factions, and agree. So we beg from the Islamic world and the Arab countries, and especially Egypt, to look towards and open the crossings so we have goods come into the Strip. And we hope from all the organizations and authorities, from Fatah and Hamas, to unite because the average Palestinian is the one who is paying the price. Residents have also been hard hit by blackouts since Israel stopped allowing in industrial fuel for Gaza's sole power plant. Power provided by Israel and Egypt has not been cut off, but service is spotty. Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh says the factions are committed to the five-month-old ceasefire brokered by Egypt, as long as the Israeli side commits to the ceasefire and lifts the siege on the Gaza Strip. I have met with the factions in the previous two days and they had a clear position. They confirmed they were committed to come as long as the Israeli occupation abided by it. It is obvious that the Israelis are not committed. Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and Defense Minister Ehud Barak have so far been non-committal about opening the crossings. Barak has ruled out doing so until Hamas stops cross-border rocket fire. Lori Liu, CCTV.